The main development started in 1982, uh, and we were looking for something, uh, some way of diversifying to create extra income from the estate, because the ownership of agricultural land now produces very little income for an estate like this. And with 3,000 acres, and 11 farms, and a little village, and a pub, and all, all that sort of thing, but didn't it didn't create the income that was needed. And this business park started by accident. Somebody just came along and saw this empty stable block and thought, could I just have a little office in the corner of it? Uh, and that is literally how it started. There was no grand plan then. There wasn't a twinkle in the eye that what would happen has happened. Uh, but there's certainly a grand plan now. And we've got uh, 51 companies employing 600 people in the countryside. The, the Tempest family have owned this estate for 900 years, would you believe? And they have a great feeling of responsibility of keeping it going for further generations. But they've always been a family who have been really interested in the community and helping the community to work. And this has been an absolutely marvellous way of doing it. We're putting something back into the local economy. We've been on site in various locations for around about six years. We were manufacturing in Geisley. We, uh, we moved the manufacturing to an industrial division um, in uh, Bingley in West Yorkshire and then moved the operation, the sales, marketing and design here to Broughton Hall. We moved to Micklethorne, this site, around about two years ago. Uh, previous to that we'd been on the estate in smaller premises and as you can see it's first class building, first class amenities and uh, it's just a fabulous environment to work. It's been great to attract people. Great to attract customers, worldwide customers, Japanese customers, American customers, and also the staff, they love the environment. The people running the estate know exactly what we require. It's very scalable. We've expanded three times and we've been able to move three times into buildings that were once a farm. We walked around this building with the team at Broughton Hall as a, as a farm only occupied by swallows and sheep and look at it today, it's a first class showroom, design studio and, um, and administrative centre. Communication routes are great, uh, they're improving all the time, we have train within five miles, we have uh, the major A roads to the major motorways, so no, I think for the, uh, for the slight inconvenience of being out in the countryside the benefits far outweigh. Uh, the negatives. It's just a pleasure to work here and um, to, to invite customers once they've been it's very easy to get them back. We find this is a perfect location because quite honestly we could be anywhere and we are in Yorkshire and we want to remain in Yorkshire. On Fresh Radio, just on uh, 11.30, the weather today, not looking too bad actually, a mixture of uh, sunny periods and scattered showers. Uh, today's top temperature... Brad we were originally based uh, in an old mill down in the, in the centre of the town in Skipton, which was uh, pretty much in disrepair. And uh, so the opportunity to move somewhere uh, a little more salubrious and a little more in touch with our audience was, was one of the key deciding factors to move to Broughton. It's stunning coming in here, it's a beautiful business park. And, and really, we're so lucky. I'd say we're probably some of the luckiest radio team in the country, really. We probably are the luckiest in terms of the view out of the window. You know, where else can you look at when you're doing the morning show? Over a stream with uh, the woodland behind, you see the birds and the ducks and everything. It's just fabulous. But so important for us with the radio station that covers the Dales to actually be in touch with, with the area that we're serving. And rather than being sat in a stuffy office block or whatever, we're right in the heart of the community where we should be. I'm really, really keen to see uh, interaction with all of the community and we want to use this as a place where we can bring people and be incredibly proud of it, as we already were of the radio station. But in this case now, we've got such a lovely surroundings to bring people to. The key to it for us really was to use this as a showpiece. You know, this radio station is so different to anything the Dales has ever seen before being based here and we wanted to be able to have somewhere where we could bring clients to and to be able to entertain them, take them to Utopia, to, to the beautiful setting. I mean, I, I can't think of a better place to put a cafe right in the middle of a walled Victorian garden with a stunning piece of architecture. We try to see ourselves as a family a, a, as well and Utopia is probably the centre of that really. We all meet there at lunch times. I've got to know so many more people since we've moved to Broughton, uh, all in different uh, veins of business. But it's lovely to go there and, and see somebody say, who does a certain trade and you think, well, I could use them and there's a lot of sharing of work going on. We're going through a, a, a visual rebrand of the station at the moment with new logos 
and who better to choose to, to do the design work than the agency that are based literally across the courtyard from us. We've just been awarded a 12 year licence and uh, given the amount of work that went into creating the studios here, I mean, it took three, four months to actually build all the studios from the shelves to putting all the equipment in uh, and uh, fitting out the offices and all the other services and we're definitely here to stay. Utop is a, very, a modern concept uh, in amongst these traditional buildings and it's a central meeting place for everybody that lives and works on the estate and there's catering in it, uh, they can have events in it, whatever they want to do and there's also two meeting rooms uh, that companies can have on a as and when required basis all kitted out with the latest technology for meetings and trainings and promotion and things like that. The companies so often say to me uh, that these buildings work for them and if they're hoping to get a contract and their client visits them here, then, uh, they're more likely to get that contract before they've even opened their mouths, compared to being on an industrial estate somewhere. There's something special about being at Broughton, which is reflected in their company. They love the environment, they love the sheep, the fields, and the fact that we can, uh, we can work very actively from a rural location. They think it's great. I mean, the mayor was lost for words when she came in this morning for the interview, uh, having been to the old premises and coming up here and just seeing what we've done. I don't think people realise how much the, the countryside has suffered over the years. Everything's disappeared from it. I could give you a long list of jobs that have disappeared in the countryside. And it's been great to put that opportunity for employment back locally in the countryside and people can stay and live in their own environment, their own community.